It smells like a tropical vacation. Good, well that's part of the idea. Oh my gosh. Everybody. My name is Emily Johnson. Welcome to Chicago Magazine's In the Kitchen Live. I'm going to be your host. And tonight I am beyond thrilled to be joined by the absolutely beautiful restaurant Proxies chef and partner, Andrew Zimmerman. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Thanks for having Happy me. Happy April Day. Same to you. <laughs> tonight we're going to be cooking a delicious four course meal together. And uh, let's get started. We're just going to pre plate the muhammara first course but we're not going to address the bread because we'll want that warm later okay. okay so you should have you know your muhammara container and we're just going to put it in here and top it with the candied walnuts that came with it so we'll put we'll just get this on the plate and then put the candied walnuts on it and set it aside okay so we put that aside and now we need to talk about and do the laksa and the noodles so we need to bring this water up to a boil we can put the laksa paste in a pot, and you don't even really have to turn it on yet. What is laksa? Laksa is, um, it's like a, it's a Malaysian curry, is sort of like the, the easiest answer. Laksa is made from aromatic roots mostly. And then we're gonna add the chicken stock, and we're gonna add the coconut milk. So we're gonna get this hot, um, and pretty much you wanna just like incorporate the laksa paste into the coconut milk and chicken stock. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. And then we also have these vegetables. We chose chayote and some butternut squash, which you could substitute like a sweet potato would be mm -hmm. fine. And some zucchini, but you really, whatever vegetable appeals okay. to you, you can put in. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the rice noodles. Okay. Uh, it's, all, it's totally fine if you added the vegetables. Yeah, totally, totally fine. fine. In fact, just to make everybody feel comfortable and at home. Let's go for it. Now we get, we have, we're going to cook the rice noodles. Now we're just going to put them in. We're going to cook them at a boil for like three to four minutes, maybe. And then we'll turn the heat off and let them stand in the, in the water for about another three minutes or so. Okay. We need to maybe turn down our locks that could be boiling a little unnecessarily aggressively. And really all that we need to do with this is get the chicken and the vegetables cooked. Over. Okay. So we need palm sugar. And usually in, in a case like this, I'm not gonna use all of it because even though I know that this is how much I said to use, <laughs> you should taste it and right. adjust it. And then uh, there's also some fish sauce. We're gonna, I'm gonna use just about all of it because I think for I us, like it'll be good. The next thing to do is set up the oysters. Oh yeah, okay. okay. So we need some aluminum foil. We're just gonna kind of roll it up loosely. Okay. And fit it to this cookie sheet. We're gonna take the oyster shells mm -hmm. and push them into the aluminum ah, foil like this. genius. Okay, so the <laughs> oysters are in this little this little deli cup in some of their oyster liqueur. And we're just gonna take a spoon and like reintroduce the oyster into the shells. We found that Samjang tempered out, like mixed into butter, mm -hmm. roughly almost like a one-to-one -one ratio makes a really great condiment. And so we're just gonna set the Samjang butter so the oysters are set up. Can you excuse me, I'm right behind you. I'm gonna just grab these noodles and we'll just divide them evenly among our two bowls. This plate is gonna be for our oysters and we included seaweed. Ooh, awesome. This is the kind of seaweed that is you wow. often see in, um, like packed with lobsters and stuff. Yeah. So we'll just set that aside until the oysters are ready. So the dessert, all we have to do with the dessert is, you know, open it up. And there uh -huh. is a small container of a chocolate and coconut crumble. And then there's some dark chocolate ganache on it. And then for some nice texture, we'll put this on. And you can kind of feel free to add it however you want, you know. Um, and once this is done, you can just sort of set this aside so that it's ready for you when you're ready for it. All right. So for so, the paratha, we're just going to throw it in, in the oven here. And ours is sizzling away. Oh, yeah. Already. Wow, that looks amazing. I can smell the smoke, actually. I'm not going to go crazy with the butter. I'm just going to take a little bit and sort of mash it around here. And we'll give it a pinch of salt, not too much. Little... We'll turn each one and line them up like that. So that we we'll put it on the plate. All the little things point out, and 
There you go. So that's the dip. That looks right. amazing. Why don't we plate the lots and then we'll, then we'll deal with the oysters. Sounds good. So we're going to put our broth here and we'll just spoon it over the noodles. I'm going to just take my knife and very roughly cut up the cilantro. Mm -hmm. So just grab a little of this and you know, you can make a little thing on it if you want. You can scatter it around however suits your fancy. And then the, the Thai basil, that's enough. You just want to kind great. of open it up. And that way, when you get a piece of Thai basil while you're eating this, you know it. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. We also have some fried shallots, a very common garnish for stuff like this. We both agreed that we like the sambal. So yes, okay, we'll big go, fan. We'll go for it, we'll put a little bit on the top here up here. So I'll just give it a little bit. We can always add more of it later if we want. Cool. All right. And so this one is Oh done. my gosh, that smells so good. So I'm going to put the oysters in the broiler now. The butter's melting. And really what we want to do is get the butter melted and the oysters warmed through. So now that these are out, we're going to just take the panko and you just want to add just a little bit, right? Like a little sprinkle over the top and go back with the chives. That is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Thank you. I'm excited. Do you want to try some with me? Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. It's spicy, okay. sweet, crunchy, creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. Good way to start, mm. right? Yeah, that's delicious. So I just stir everything in. Yeah, just stir everything in so that the, the herbs kind of uh, wilt into it a little bit. And... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Mm. That was so good. This is spicy, but like not too spicy mm -hmm. and sweet. And I love all the herbs. It and the lime juice brightens it up. Oh my gosh. Mm. Those are amazing. Good, right? They are so good. They taste like the sea still. You have the spice from the butter. And I love the panko, the crunch from the panko. Caramely, sweet, salty. And I love the dark chocolate on top. I will eat that pudding all day long. But I just want to cheers everyone. Cheers, chef. Cheers, thanks very much. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I do want to say thank you to our sponsors one last time. Conagra Brands, 210 Design House, Stella Artois, and Cooper's Hawk. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you guys so much. Thanks very much.